Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, I will be reviewing, let's see here, the 2008 Dodge Viper, and it is the Heme Poison TT trim, I don't know what it's called in real life. And, uh, it looks like we're being joined by a... Lamborghini I have reviewed this car in a past video but yeah we're gonna get straight into it starting off with the exterior this is not a convertible so no interior sadly so starting off with these beautiful Viper headlights and these all these vents on the hood and uh, the Dodge logo and we have the like the vent right here Correction, I actually meant radiator, but anyways, back with the video. Fog lights, some kind of logo right here. Let's see, Texas Motorsports, the Motorsports. We have side exhausts instead of rear exhausts on both sides. These cool rims, and this really cool looking uh, spoiler. And then we have the Dodge taillights and then that. Texas Motorsports logo right there again, and this cool little taillight thing right here. And, uh, we also have a vent right here. And, uh, yeah, that is a look at the exterior. Now, I don't know the actual stats on this, since I don't know what specific thing this is. This costs around 250k in-game. And, uh, yeah, that is a... Oh, or kind of overview on the stats i think let's see here i think you need to pass for this as well uh anyways start up clean yeah this startup sounds so good and uh, obviously no traction control it doesn't come with traction control there's no traction control at all on this dog viper just like the uh, GT and as you can hear there is a massive turbocharger in this and you can just hear it spool up and uh, sadly it's nighttime but we can get a look at the lights so we have the blinkers in the headlights and then the rear ones as well also, something cool about the Dodge Viper, that is a tail light. And, uh, yeah, that is a good look at the specs and customization and a bit of a startup. And since it has no traction control just like the GT, it does a bit of a burnout. Um, what, it, it can't do donuts to my knowledge. I haven't been able to get it to do burnouts. It just kind of lose, loses its rip when I try to do it unlike the GT and uh, yeah now we're gonna go ahead and go on to the highway and test out the specs and, or the acceleration and top speed all right guys so we have arrived finally so uh, obviously rev it up for best results and uh, it, any car you should rev it up and Turn off traction control. Obviously, this doesn't have traction control to get the best launch. So rev it up. Also, this has a top speed of 206 miles per hour, one mile per hour short of being fast as the GT. We're getting interrupted by a Tahoe. All right. Anyways, it has way better acceleration than the GT. This is actually really good acceleration, and. Uh, 206 is the max and it has decent brakes. Has decent brakes. Well, I mean, at least it's better than last video's incident if you want a rewind of that. Uh yeah, way better than the last video's brakes. And uh yeah, that is I'm in my opinion this is definitely worth 200k obviously you got so it has a turbo in it. And it is fast, and it looks amazing. And, uh, yeah, 
that basically wraps up the review. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, comment down below what you want me to see or review in the next video. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Trust in any females, gotta show the blood, had a testin' through the